South Carolina was a great team. They fought. They never gave up. Um, I feel like we just stayed focused. We knew that it was going to be a dogfight being the first SEC kickoff game. And I feel like we just uh, trusted in one another. We knew that everyone on that defense side had everyone's back. Yeah, and then Drew Bumper's sack, I think it was still a five-point game, and he sacked back to the five. How big was that? I mean, that, that was huge. Anytime we could come away with the sack, I mean, that's a, a kind of – if shifts the momentum, it's a, it's a big uh, game-changing play. Simeon, it's his first full game without Catalan. How do you feel like the defense did, and how do you think, you know, taking over the team captain role, you performed as well? Um, I feel like it was a great game by us, and we know we always would love to have Catalan because of how talented he is. But um, we have a lot of players like Brini came in, stepped up, forced a fumble. He had a great game himself. Um, we had Malik step in, Kyrie stepped in, and both of them been playing corner for a long time. They came in and played safety for us today, and they also did a wonderful job. So I feel like it was a hard game, but it was also it was great to see all our training paying out after doing all the stuff in summer, um, in the summer and fall camp of switching positions, moving everybody around. I feel like it definitely helped us today. Uh, I'm curious. I mean, you all three could answer this. What did y'all think about Bumper returning that onside kick? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I loved it because I had to block the biggest dude on the line. So when he got it, everybody else stopped. So that was great for me. When he grabbed it, I was just pointing like this. Go, yeah. go. If you had a little bit more speed, he would have scored. But we <laughs> would we'll keep that to ourselves, you know. <laughs> and then, I mean, Nudie got another pick today. What did y'all think of that and just how, how he's doing over there at corner? I mean, Nudie doing great at corner. Oh, by the way, good evening, everybody. <laughs> sorry. Nudie doing great at corner. Nudie is a dog, man. Everybody a dog out there on the field. Nudie been playing great and he's been showing it. Yeah. Nudie's definitely a game changer. Mm -hmm. you know, he might any, anytime you get the ball in the red zone, you could create a turnover. That's that's huge mm -hmm. and that just crushes the other team. Definitely. I think the game was pretty well in hand at this point. Um, but Jordan Dominic again forced that safety. I think it's the second week in a row. He's got a sack in the fourth quarter. Just what's what's he brought to you guys defense? I Man, he's a playmaker. He's a go-getter. I think I talked about this last week. He's a guy, he does it in practice all the time. He'll run out the stack and go make a play on the perimeter. He's just a guy that's a dog. He's a go-getter. He's gonna make sure that he does his job. And if the ball gets out to the perimeter, he's gonna run out there and do that job too. I love, I love John, J.D., man. J.D. is a good person on and off the field. He a dog on the field, like Sam said. And then he just come every day to work, every day. Obviously, a, a little bit of a new era of college football with transfers. I want to ask you about Latavius Brini Moore and how quickly did he blend in? And you guys go against Matt Landers. How quickly did you learn uh, that Matt might be a weapon for you this year? Um, Brini is a real good player. He came in our system, and we do a lot of stuff. I feel like we – require a lot of communication and with that communication that means you have to learn the playbook real fast we have a lot of different stuff that we do a lot of different personnel and for him to come out there and play as well as he did in just a short amount of time and just being here in the summer and uh well really the spring but it says a lot it says he really came here he really took this serious and he's a real playmaker he's gonna be very helpful for us this year he's gonna make a big difference um i appreciate um all the people that um the DBs, coaches, every everybody. Cause when I first came in from Georgia, it was like a little rocky. And they took me in with wide open arms and then they just showed me nothing but love. Oh, it's nothing but love. Just making me making sure I was accountable for everything I did and just making sure I could push my my skills farther. So it was great. And also Matt Landers is very oh. dangerous. I hate having to cover him in practice. So <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely gonna be a weapon for us. He's a big, long guy that's very fast. We be calling him a gazelle at practice because them legs never stop. It don't even look like he running hard. He's just moving his body. But he's de he definitely going to be a weapon for us. He's definitely been helping us offensively also. Yeah, Matt, like like Sim said, Matt nickname Slim. I call him Slim. <laughs> Matt just, man, he a dog, man. Matt go come in and work. Yeah. Like, you catch Matt at the practice catching like 100, 100 bottle jugs. Like, Matt just going to work. Man, yeah. I love that about Matt. Drew, you made a lot of plays today. I think you had two sacks, maybe another tackle behind the line. What do you think of your game? And Sam Pittman mentioned that, you know, you'd look like a different player than you did in the spring. I mean, as well as you're playing. And then maybe you, you guys could each comment on what, what, you, what you thought about Drew's game today. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I felt felt pretty great today going into the game. And, you know, I felt uh, comfortable and confident with what our uh, defense had us doing. And it just put me in a great position to make plays. And I just uh, did, did my best to do my job.
Yeah. Drew's a hard worker. We've been yeah. we've been harping on Drew ever since he got here. We love him. He's a hard worker. He's not gonna say much, but he's gonna always do what he's supposed to do. We finally getting him to open up a little bit more. But yeah, he's definitely a playmaker. He does his job. We know if we send him on a blitz, he's probably nine times out of ten gonna get the sack. If not, he's gonna pressure the quarterback. So I feel like Drew's just a great player and we love to have him around. Man, Drew had a great game today. Definitely. I look up, I see Drew making a play every time. <laughs> I, I turn to somebody, I said, that's Drew? That's yeah. Drew making that play? They were like, yeah, that's Drew. But Drew did great, man. Drew is awesome. He a great person, man. If you get to watch the offense much when you, when you guys are off the field, but what what'd you think of um, the Rockets game and really what he's done these last two games being, you know, the primary back? Man, it's good for me not to have to tackle him this time. It's good for somebody else to have to tackle him. But he definitely had a good game. You can see a lot of improvement from last year to this year. I feel like he's more shiftier. He's very much in shape, and he's a load to tackle. So I feel like he had a very great game. It seemed like every time I looked up, he was – Taking the ball for about six, seven yards every time he got the ball. Latavius, two part question. A, you know, your role now with Catalan being out, what do you think about, you know, that responsibility, I guess? And then the, the fumble force that you had, I can't remember when, second half, how big that play wound up being. Um, with Cat being out, the responsibility is just like, I mean, when I first got here, they always kept like, just made sure they held me accountable. Like Sim, people like Sim, Cat. So it was like, it was like really no pressure. It was just like, oh, this is like practice. Let's let's just go. Just make sure I'm accountable for everything I do. And then on the, on the um, fumble, man, y'all ain't see me out there. I was jumping. I was jumping for joy. Cause, <laughs> but when I hit the ball, I said, the ball came out. I was running. I ran like a chicken with his head cut off. I was just running. <laughs> yeah, we saw some ice on your ankle. How you feeling? And, you know, um, I feel great. I mean, I'm blessed. That's all I. I feel great. That's all it is. Great job, fellas. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Dalton, I'm curious, like, as a, from an offensive wise perspective, how would you assess the way y'all ran the ball today? And was that kind of a, what y'all were hoping to do in a game like this? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Coach Pitt, what was it Monday or Tuesday? Pretty much called out the O line and D line, said the game's on our backs. The game will be won in the trenches by us. And O line took it really personally this week to make sure we can run the ball. Talked all week about spots because they're going to try to give us some exotic looks, run the safeties down, try to fit some runs a little weird. We were prepared for it. Everything we've seen, we were prepared for. And obviously, protection's got to get better still. You know, got to make sure KJ's comfortable back there throwing. But I think the run game, we couldn't ask for a better game. KJ, I think you ran the ball 19 times today, took a lot of big hits. Are you comfortable with that? I mean, do you feel like you're taking too many hits, or how would you assess your way you're running the ball right now? I mean, football is a physical, physical sport, so, I mean, playing the quarterback position, you're going to get hit, whether you got the ball, whether you got the ball. So, I mean, just being able to just have an adult mentality and then just going in, getting treated, uh, recover is real big on my part, just being able to go in and make sure I'm feeling 100%, so pretty good with it. For Dalton and KJ, what would you guys think of Rocket, Rocket's game and really what he's done the last two games being the primary running back? And then after that, Rocket, you, maybe you could address that. What do you think of your game today? And, and how have you thought about you've accepted this role where you're getting a lot, lot, lot of carries? 
Uh, Rock, I mean, he's playing more confident now. I mean, his confidence through the roof. Uh, he's comfortable back there. I mean, mm -hmm. he sends signals faster. He's getting lined up. Uh, sometimes if I run, he gets the signal. He's telling the O-line what to do. So he's 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 grasping this uh, system. He's uh, learning each and every day. Uh, he's just building. So and maturing at the same time. Yeah, I agree. With that 100% confidence and his level of just play has gone up so much from last year. He was really good last year, too. Um, he makes the O-line right when we should probably be wrong. And he knows how to be patient and press us to where you can get that edge. If I'm like a press inside, inside, and then jump out. And he does a tremendous job of that. And I've seen him grow. He's a professional. That's how he treats it. Everything he does inside the facility and outside the facility, he's professional. Well, definitely. With them, um, with off the line, I want to give a big shout out to them and then the receivers as well. But KJ, KJ make me comfortable. The front line, another year with them. So they making me comfortable as well. Start like this, Sam said in camp, you were going to get more carries. Did you envision, you know, back to back 100, I guess about 250 something yards now that you've got? Yes, sir. Well, with that, um, I feel like we're watching film and knowing what the defense is going to do and figuring out they man his own. Um, I feel like the outside zone and hit, inside zone hit today. Yeah. Matt Landers had pretty good chemistry. I know Sam mentioned that one got away from it, but when a guy comes in from outside, how quickly are you able to get that sort of chemistry and timing? And, and what do you think we're going to see from Matt the rest of this year out there on the perimeter? Uh, actually, Matt, like when he first got in, uh, he actually uh, called me and told me to come to the facility. So we, I went to the facility, and then right then and there, we got to work. Like I was watching him run routes, how he's going to run his route, so trying to get timing down as quick as possible. So just knowing that he's an outside guy coming in, I mean, the team love him. I mean, we welcome him with open arms. Um, and also just in future, uh, just – being able to have a guy like Matt and the speed and the versatility that he's has, just being able to put the ball and just let him make a play. Yeah, for KJ and Rocket, these guys that you know kind of have the ball in their hands a lot, just what were your impressions of bumpers, kickoff return? And do you have any tips for him the next time maybe he's in the open field? <laughs> I feel like he wanted that touchdown. Man. Yeah, I mean, when I <laughs> – when I did see Bumper catch and take out, I thought he was going to go scope. But then I asked him in the locker room, I was like, why didn't you scope? He said, they came up pretty quick. So, <laughs> so I mean, I wanted Bumper to scope, man. I mean, that's, that's a good look. I mean, just be able to uh, 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 start a line back out there on the hands team and actually go do what he did, try to uh, seal the game away. So, that's, that's your leadership and, uh, and just positivity in his role. KJ, on that play where they challenged for the targeting um, on you when you were carrying the defense, you got up and you flex. Just what's the feeling like when you're able to just like carry defenders that way? So I was just talking about this. Uh, I was, I didn't even know I got hit in the head. Like I didn't know. I just know I got hit. So I mean, just my mentality is just. I mean, when I'm when I'm running the ball, it just one man can't tackle me. So I try to carry that throughout when I'm in the pocket or. Anything, so I just try to. That's just my mentality, man. Just just a mind thing. Just being able to just run hard, fall for it, gain positive yards, and just keep the chains rolling. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure my teammates like it too. Get them fired up as well. So, and Rocket on that 47 yard run that got called back, you kind of walked off the field, looked pretty gassed. What was that feeling like? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was definitely tired. I was definitely tired. I was definitely tired. Now, one of that's up. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you feel like you're handling this larger workload? I think 20 carries last week, 24 today. I mean, how, how are you feeling physically? I feel good, actually. Um, I take everything serious outside of football as well, as in, like, treatment. I'm in there every day. So I know I know what's in front of me, and um, I just got to attack it. And, Dalton, I know we talk about physicality with the <laughs> offensive and defensive line, but when you got a quarterback making runs like the one we were just talking about, and I think Jaden uh, threw a guy down, uh, is there just a – physicality throughout the, the whole team, you feel like? And do you feel like it permeates through the whole team? Yeah, absolutely. Coach Pitt emphasizes it. We go pads three times a week. We go pads and then a spiders on Thursday usually. So three days a week, we're getting after it. We're hitting the crap out of each other. And he emphasizes physicality, physicality, physicality. And, you know, you got a runner like KJ that can just throw a shoulder in there. And you got guys like the old line just trying to push that pile, knock it over. And he still is running after we knock a pile over. It just – it's physicality, and we love it. He loves it, and I think the whole state loves it. I mean, for, for, for Dalton and KJ, um, Arkansas historically has not won the SEC opener too often. Now you guys have done back-to-back -back years. It's such a challenging schedule. How big is that to start off 1-0 in the SEC? 
I mean, it's real big. I mean, Coach Penny put uh, emphasis on uh, starting SEC play. So, we know it's going to be a long physical game. So, I mean, we just want to come out be a more physical and dominant team and then just show the state that, I mean, this program is still on the rise. I mean, it's still more work where we got to do, uh, go back and look at the film and get better and just keep this program on the rise. Absolutely. A lot of mistakes still today to clean up. A lot of points we left off the board that we need to make sure coming into down the road for more SEC play, we got to make sure we can score when we're down there get that conversion on that fourth and one, you know. And that's – I think the team realized that. We're very excited that we won, but we also still realize there's a lot of work we still got to do. Yeah. For KJ and Rocket, you know, Rocket, you got more involved in the passing game today. What would you all – KJ, what would you think about him as a receiver? And Rocket, what would you think about getting more involved? Uh, I mean, Rocket, had, he always had uh, great hands. I mean, when he first came in, he was kind of a receiver a little bit. I mean, he went to running back, so we always knew that he had great hands. And then just being able to just – Get him out wide. I mean, some. I mean, some. Most defense forget about the running back. I mean, mm -hmm. so they're playing zone, they're dropping back, and then it just the running back in the flats by itself. So uh, just being able to go through all my uh, reads, progress, full uh, field progression, and then just dumping it out to the back and letting go gain positive yards. I feel like for this year, uh, last year they wasn't really looking at the ch check downs. The quarterback was looking at the check downs. <laughs> so in practice, they looking at the check downs a lot. <laughs> but the last man standing, so, <laughs> so we the last man standing. So now he's doing that and taking advantage of that. <laughs> nah, the coach is telling us all the time. The coach is telling us all the time, man. Target, uh, I think you joined a late company today with Darren McFadden and Felix Jones of the only Razorback running backs to go for 150 and two touchdowns against South Carolina. Just what does it feel like to have your name with those two guys? <laughs> <laughs> it feel good. Um, of course, I want to be better than those guys. That's my goal. That's my goal. But it feel great. Thanks, guys. Thank